Hi there, it's been a while since I've recorded a video on the Project Corner and that is due to the move that we did to all the way to Gronia, of course. And I'm very happy to call in today from Denmark, actually, from the Danish head office where we have a media room. So there's a little bit of promotion here for what we do as Projectum, but that's not why you're here, right? You are here to see the new things from Project for the Web, one of the core features within the video channel that we're looking at right now. So let's have a look at what Project for the Web has to offer by jumping into Project for the Web. And we are at the Project for the Web homepage, of course, and we have this new project button. First thing that we're going to look at is a new sprint template. Let's have a look at what we see here. Probably is a sprint planning that has more to do with the board view than the grid view. So let's have a look. Use template. So here we are at the sprint planning and what we see is we have a backlog, we have sprint one, sprint zero, and we can add a new sprint. And we now need to add the start and finish date of a sprint, which would be nice if we had the option to have that automated, of course, where we it would be nice if we add the sprint duration for each new sprint, of course, and not having to add the start date and the finish date ourselves. But let's add that here. And it shows up in the middle. Could not create a new sprint for this project. It already has a sprint with these dates. All right. So it would be nice if we got some guidance in what to do here. So this is the new template for sprint planning. I think a little guidance in how to work with this would be nice and also nice if we had some guidance on the dates. Um, other than that, very nice little template and, and what I believe I've seen is new templates coming up to Project for the Web pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to dive a little bit deeper in templates and how to work with them with Project for the Web in another video. Then there was a mention that we were able to use schedules from other environments in Microsoft Teams. Now this hasn't landed yet in my environments, so I am not able to show you this, but what I can show you is that there is a nice error message. Example from another environment is one of my projects. And if I go to the plus sign and I go to project, what I would expect is uh, my current projects that show up, but we weren't able to load your project, uh, your team projects. So it's not on my environment yet, but what you will be able to see is, um, let's go all the way up. What you will be able to see is that there is a project coming from a custom environment. So this is something that is going to roll out. Um, it has been introduced in June already, but I can't seem to get it working in my environment. Um, if you have the solution, please share it with, uh, with everyone through the comments below. Third thing I wanted to share with you is goals. Now we have the option to add goals to our projects, which I would like to think them as our deliverables for the project. So let's go to commercial construction because that is a somewhat larger um, schedule template and that we can use easily for our, uh, our goals. Mobilize on site is something, for instance, that we could construct a goal around. As you've noticed, there is a new tab available. So we already had the grid, we have the board, we have timeline, charts and people, and now we have goals. So as I mentioned already, goals I see as deliverables for a project. And these goals can be used to connect tasks and prioritize and stay focused, as it says in the subheading. So let's add a goal. And the goal should be um, site ready for construction. All right, so I can imagine that there's a couple of things that need to be done before the site is ready for construction. So 
we won't set an end date because that will be guided by the tasks themselves uh, it's not started yet and here's a little button that has the option to connect task we can also start creating new tasks right around here and let's see where that lands uh, where are you on the where are you on the schedule question mark uh, it's a high priority because we need to know and it needs to finish today so the number already tells us that new task will land at the end of the schedule um, but just to make everyone aware all the way down we have that last task where are you on the schedule there's no direct visualization of this being connected with a goal but when we click on the little eye here the task information all the way down I see connect to goals so it's site ready for construction goal that it is connected to can I connect to another one oh I can so let's try multiple goals question mark and this one has an end date and do I click enter now yes but I can only assign this to one goal that is good because otherwise it would be diluted uh, but it's nice that you can create new goals straight from your uh, schedule let's try that with this one finish inspections uh, let's add that to a goal can I do that through right mouse no but I can go can I all the way down the connect to goals is gone the moment I don't have a connection already hmm okay that's something that might be uh, improved in the future I would hope so there's no option to add that from a clean task that doesn't have any goals yet so let's remove that and let's jump into that last task go to the eye let's go all the way down and let's click on that it doesn't open up that goal step it adds the goal itself in the side so update task what can we do okay we can start selecting additional tasks can we yes I cannot select the summary which is which is actually good long lead procurement yes we need to have that we need to have that as well so let's uh, select all these tasks and let's mobilize on site as a final thing that we need to do for that project deliverable Okay, so now I have 10, uh, 20 tasks connected to this site ready for construction. I can even change the colors. We love changing colors, right? Um, example of a deliver. It doesn't take into account a new start date and new end date um, based on the tasks. So this is something that's completely separate from the schedule in the sense of the start date and end date we have the priority options of course where we can set high medium and low and we have a status where we can say that it is on track started or at risk or uh, closed even so let's have a look at the goal itself as you can see there's multiple goals the one that we just created from the task that already had a goal uh, and here we see the other tasks all of them inside our goal and we can track the progress of that goal now we also have the option to add the goal as a as a filter in timeline for instance we oh yeah and that that is something as well we now have a bigger zoom option I just clicked it away but we have a bigger zoom option which is nice there's still not an option to add a zoom for week basis month basis quarter basis and year basis there's no direct guidance on where you will land if you move the slider but it's nice that we have a bigger zoom now filters 
back to filters, we have the option to filter on goals. And as you'd expect, you would have these goals show up here as a filter option. We have that on all of the other tabs, of course. So from the goals page, what you might see is that this looks like the Microsoft goals or the Viva goals solution that's available uh, outside Project for the Web. Currently, this is not integrated with your general goals application. Uh, that is something that Microsoft is working on, as it mentions in one of their blog posts. Um, but currently, this is only a currently this is a goals solution that is focused on your specific project. So you can use it. You can use it as your deliverables solution. If I move and I create these updates, it doesn't show a progress bar as such. We can open details. It doesn't give us a detail on how much of the tasks have been done. Currently, I would say it's a very rudimentary solution for goals. Um, there's no graph that shows us how the goals progress. There's no additional chart that has been created here. Goals currently, I think Microsoft is ramping up to get goals inside Viva Goals so that Project for the Web is connected to that main core solution instead of working on goals internally. Let's move on to the core piece of uh, Project for the Web updates, and that is our task history. One thing that I'm very excited about because it is a very nifty little solution. So in August, I tried and worked on uh, creating a new video, but due to the move and a flu, um, I wasn't able to do anything about that. Um, so let's um, let's make some changes to this old project, and we can add a new ta. We can add some duration here, or we can change the customize buckets uh, by adding an additional resource, such as myself, and we'll change that to five weeks. And we'll change progress as well. Uh, let's add a percentage complete. And let's say that this is now 50% done. Really clean visual, of course, that uh, little progress bar there. Um, and this August project is also available in Microsoft Teams. Now, as you know, that Project for the Web is very good and integrating itself into Microsoft Teams, right? So we have a list of things that we can do. We can open Teams and start a conversation. We can, oh, now I can connect to goals. Very nice. But we can now create new goals for ourselves and connect to those through our tasks that don't have a goal. Up on top, we have something called a task history button. And if we click on that, it will open up the task history that we have available. So we see that several minutes ago, I assigned Wendy, and just a minute ago, I changed it from days to a couple of weeks. And a month ago, I created the project task. So this is a very nice way to look at what happened inside your tasks. We can also see that through Microsoft Teams. And if we open that up here, we see that there's additions done, the same additions that we've seen uh, previously, and we can start a conversation right away. Um, why did you change the duration? And we can add a resource here. Well, I can't add myself. So let's just say that Wendy did it. And as you know from Microsoft Teams, it has these little nifty buttons that give Wendy a direct way to connect to that specific task in that specific project. I'm happy to be back again from my long absence of video recording. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just drop them in the comments below. And you might also like my playlist on the new features of Project for the Web or Maybe you would like to create a new lovely Power BI visual. Thanks for watching.